Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about my curly hair routine and what products I use, what techniques I use, and just how I take care of my curly hair. I normally only do my curly hair routine like once a week whenever I do wash my hair because it takes such a long time and there are so many steps. But the first thing that I do is I wash my hair and I've just been using this Garnier Fructis one. It's the hydrating one with aloe in it. It's really nice because it bubbles and suds up. And I know that whenever it suds up, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's getting it clean, but I just feel cleaner and feel better about it whenever I have one that suds up, just like a face wash. I need one that produces bubbles or I don't feel clean. So I like this one a lot because it does bubble up really well and it smells really nice and clean too. And this one is supposed to be really good for your hair because it is 98% naturally derived ingredients. There is aloe juice in it, no silicones, no parabens, and no artificial colorants. Then after I rinse out the shampoo, and then I will go in with some conditioner from Garnier Fructis again, and it is the aloe one, but this is just in the conditioner form. And they have like a regular conditioner one, but I just use the one minute hair mask because actually whenever you compare the two bottles, the hair mask one, you get more for less money. So I just picked that one up and I really like that it's in a jar because whenever I'm using it in the shower, I don't have to worry about squeezing it out. I can just reach in there and grab however much that I want to use. And since this is a one minute hair mask, all you need to do is leave it in for like a minute. But most of the time I do leave it in for more than a minute while I'm like washing my body or whatever in the shower. So I'll probably leave it on for like five minutes and it gets my hair super soft and it detangles it really well and it leaves your hair smelling really good. And after that, I'll just go ahead and rinse it out. Sometimes I do brush my hair in the shower, but this stuff does such a good job detangling it that I really don't need to brush my hair because running my fingers through my hair, brush it well enough because the conditioner does such a good job at getting the tangles out. Then once I get out of the shower, I'll just scrunch up my hair with a towel and I know you're supposed to use a microfiber towel or like a silk one or whatever with curly hair but I really don't care and it really doesn't make my hair that much frizzier. So once I get out I'll just take this detangler spray. It's just the kids one. It works well enough for me. I just spray this all over my hair and then I also go in with like a spray in leave-in conditioner and I just have it in this bottle here. It's the Cantu Shea Butter Natural Hair Comeback Curl Next Day Curl Revitalizer and I just mix that with some water so that way I'm not using it so quickly because I use a lot of this. So I'll just spray this all over my hair after I sprayed the detangler in. This is just like another step of detangling because even though in the shower my hair was perfectly untangled once I get out and put it up in the towel, it just tangles itself around and then after that I'll just go ahead and start brushing my hair. I always make sure to start brushing from the ends and work my way up so that way I'm not pulling it down and creating a huge knot at the bottom. After I have my hair all brushed out, I'll put a leave-in conditioner in and I use the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing curl activating cream and I really like this one because I've tried others and they just weigh the curls down but this doesn't leave your hair feeling greasy and it lets the curls be very airy and bouncy still and it really helps with frizziness and more defined curls and then to make sure that my curls are held in place whenever they're drying I will use a gel and I don't use the hard gels whenever they dry. I make sure to use a soft one. I've been using this one right here which is the Ren Pure Coconut Cream Curling Jelly. It's okay, it's almost out, but I got a new one that I like way better. It's the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Gel and it's just in this jar which is really nice to scoop out again instead of having to worry about pumping it. 
but this one I find it really holds the curls better and it makes them more defined. But after I add that in, I'll just scrunch it all together. If I don't want to use my blow dryer with my diffuser, I will wear like a bonnet to bed or I'll wrap like a long sleeve shirt and tie it up in the front and plop it. And then the next day or the following days, if I do find that my curls start, I will go in and spray it with this water and curl vitalizer. And it really instantly just makes the frizz go away and it makes your curls look like you just did your whole hair care routine again. So I do have a pretty basic hair care routine for curly hair. If you have curly hair and you have other products that you are absolutely in love with, make sure to comment those down below so I can check them out because I really want to widen my hair care products that I have. I've just stuck with the same ones for a very long time and I haven't went out of my way to try anything different. Before you guys leave, make sure to subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every Monday and Friday when I post a brand new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.